Warning, this video contains images of feral pests being shot using a rifle of suitable calibre. Please do not watch if you are likely to be offended. Furthermore, if you make any comments that are either negative, political or religious, they will be removed from my channel. Hi guys and welcome back. Sorry it's taken so long to get this video up for you all. I had a week off with my fiancé on Kangaroo Island. It was a great trip and I learned a few new things about my own country. But you didn't come here to listen about my holidays, did you? I didn't think so. So tonight we're back on the rats and cats. Yes, hate mail inbound. Plus Bobsy's trying out his new ATN 4K Pro for the first time, so hopefully there'll be an improvement in his footage. Once again, my setup is the FX Crown chambered in 0.22 with the ATN 4K Pro 3x14 scope, the ATN ABL 1000, JSB Hades at 15.89 grains and the BOG Death Grip tripod. And Bob's setup is his FX Royale, also in 0.22 with the newly acquired ATN 4K Pro 3x14 scope and the ABL 1000 kindly donated by you, the subscribers. And he's running the JSB Hades 15.89 grain pellets also. Let's get right into it. In the left hand corner, occasionally you will see a red letter B. And this is to indicate that the video is from Bob's camera. And here it is straight away. Nice shot, Bob. This is my first shot for the night. A clean hit straight to the bread basket of this pigeon. It's great to see these native birds out, like this hawk and the occasional owl that we see at night time. However, with all the rats eating the poison and dying out in the open, it's not very healthy for the birds of prey. So, a JSB Hades pellet is far healthier for our native wildlife. This rat looked like he was suffering the effects of poison, so I put him out of his misery. So I think Bob's slowly getting a handle on the new ATN 4K Pro. This shot here, I'm not sure if it was a double, but it was definitely a kill on one rat. And there's no question about the second rat. And as for the third rat, well we all know I don't allow this sort of thing on my channel. Good one Bob.
And now it's my turn to put a stop to some necrophilia. Mr. Rat, not here, not on my channel. Remember? This shot ends up being a two for one. The first rat kicks its way out, but the second rat stays behind the curtain, which you do see move just slightly as the rat kicks it later on in the clip. I think this rat just sprung a leak. Uh-oh, looks like we're at it again. I think the first rat might have a Hades headache. As does the second one. Time for 65 rats in 90 seconds. Rapid fire.
And we're done. Back to our normal regular program. Once again, the first rat jumps out, but the second rat is blocked by a third, already dead rat, from coming out of the hole. But it was easily collected shortly after the shot. This rat is the only slow motion I do tonight, because I've had a few people complain that I do too many. So, I hope you like it, as well as the entry into the water. These rats just never learn. Sorry there guys, that was a little bit dark for my channel. We'll make this rat the last one for the night. Shortly there'll be some cats being shot. So please listen to the warning and adhere to the warning. If you don't like watching cats being shot, stop now. For the next part of this video, I'll be using my CZ452 American, chambered in 0.22, with the ATN 4K Pro 4x20 scope on top, the ABL 1000, I'll be shooting off the BOG Death Grip tripod once again, and using the Winchester PowerPoint 40 grain projectiles. Yes guys, a second warning, and you guessed it, it's more cats. So here we go, warning. This video contains images of feral pests, in particular cats being shot using a rifle of suitable calibre. Please do not watch, I repeat, do not watch if you are likely to be offended. So, if you make any comments after this that are either negative, verbally abusive, or just downright nasty, they will be removed. Once again, I've included a screenshot of the Australian Government's Department of Agriculture, Water and the Environment's webpage that describes how destructive these feral cats are out in the wild. On the map of Australia in the right hand side there's a red area and the arrow is pointing to the rough area that I am located. So as you can see we've got a fairly dense population of feral cats in our area. And yes, there are kittens being shot in this video so I warn you once again if you do not wish to see this, turn off now. Thank you. So here we have Bob spotting for me using the Axion XM30S from Pulsar, a thermal monocular. However, the downfall of using thermal is it doesn't show you the complete picture. This cat is slightly obscured by some bushes, but it can't be seen in the thermal image. However, the image I was seeing through my night vision equipment was sufficient, and I placed the shot. Straight down. The cat kicks a little bit, but it was dead straight away.
The worst thing about this video is I'd forgotten to press record on the ATN 4K Pro, which is something I pick on Bob all the time from doing. So I'm sorry Bob, even I forget to do it sometimes. This is coming out. There you go. Line up the target, gently squeeze the trigger, and what do you know it? Empty chamber. This will give you some idea of the different images between the thermal and night vision and what you can and can't see in regards to bushes, twigs and branches. Thanks again to my permission owners. Well, once again another good night's work, with several scaly tails less, as well as a few feral cats. Giving us a total of three pigeons, five starlings shot with a shotgun, three cats and 135 rats. It's also good to be getting some really good video out of Bob's scope, now that he's switched over to the ATN 4K Pro. Hopefully, we'll get to see more of his shooting in the near future. Thanks again for watching. If you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. To get notifications of new videos, click on the bell. And until next time, please stay safe and stick to social distancing.